While you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one, that is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life, you want to get into heaven, read. Keep the commandments. You see that? Very simple. We got to keep the commandments. That's how you get into heaven. So what's the commandments? He finna name some. Read. He said unto him, which Jesus said, thou shalt be, do no murder. Thou so we not supposed to murder. These are rules that if we follow them, we'll get into heaven. We're not supposed to kill one another. That's a simple rule. If we kept that rule in Chicago, would we need police? So what is sin? Sin is when you break God's commandment. Right. Let's read that again. 1 John 3 and 4. 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committeth sin transgresses also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. When you transgress them, you're going against it. You're fighting against it. You're opposing it. When you transgress, you are breaking God's rules. Right. Bring it out. And for breaking God's rules, your punishment is death. Right. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Uh -huh. For sin is the transgression of the law. Go back to Romans 6. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Read. For the wages of sin is death. Uh -huh. But the gift of God is eternal life. So the payment for sinning is death. But it said the gift of God is eternal life. Who want to get into heaven? That's my question I'm posing, my other question I'm posing. I'm posing a lot of questions. Why? To spark your mind, to get you to think out here. Because right now, we only focus on having a good time. We only focus on what? Making a couple dollars. Right. We only, we only focus on trying to be famous. Right. It's time for us to wake up. Read. Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death, uh -huh. but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. My brother across the street, do you want to go to heaven? My brother with the icy stand, do you want to go to heaven? My brothers and sisters walking in the car, who want to get into heaven? Believe it or not, we can show you how to get into heaven right now. Who want to know how to get into heaven? Because guess what? Your so-called good deeds that you think you're doing, that ain't going to get you into heaven. Because you a holy roller, you go to church every Sunday faithfully, that ain't going to get you into heaven. Right. So, let us show you what's going to get you into heaven. Matthew 19, 16. Bring it Matthew out. Chapter 19 and verse 16. Bring it and out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may enter, I mean, I may have, Eternal life. My brother's woken up. We just posed the question, how do you get into heaven? That's what we're talking about today. How you get into heaven? Who want to go to heaven? Who want to go to heaven? Show a hand. Don't nobody want to go to heaven? Check that out, sir. I ain't mean leave you hanging. If you want to go to heaven, what's something you got to do? I be nice to an elderly person. Is that going to get me into heaven? I go to church, is that gonna get me into heaven? What's gonna get us into heaven? My brothers, y'all wanna go to heaven, right? What's going on, bro? Check that out, check that out, check that out. that's free. Man, respect, love, love. We showing our people right now how to get into heaven, read that. Verse 17, and he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one, uh -huh. that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. We right. read in the book of Romans, it said the gift of God is eternal life. How you get into heaven? How you get into heaven?
you said, that's good to start off with, right? Yeah. I'm gonna show you something. Cause you said if he don't recognize you, right? He gotta recognize you for doing what he told you to do. Right. Cause believe it or not in church, we told if I be nice, if I don't curse, we, we told all these little things that sound good instead of going to the book itself. We got to do what God told us to do. Right here, this is Jesus Christ talking to a young man. They was having a conversation. And he asked him the same question. How do we get into heaven? Read that. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? That's heaven. Eternal life is heaven. Living forever, not dying, not being sick no more. If you read the last book of the Bible, Revelation, it talked about that. Ain't going to be no more sickness, death, none of that. How do we get to that? That was his question. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one, that is God. Uh -huh. But if thou wilt enter into life, you want to get into heaven? Read. Keep the commandments. You see that? Very simple. We got to keep the commandments. That's how you get into heaven. So what's the commandments? He finna name some. Read. He said unto him, which Jesus said, Thou shalt be do no murder. Thou so we not supposed to murder. These are rules that if we follow them, we'll get into heaven. We're not supposed to kill one another. That's a simple rule. If we kept that rule in Chicago, would we need police? That's how powerful that is. We don't. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You know what adultery is? What's adultery? That's sleeping with somebody's spouse. Do not they make a lot of rap songs like that? You know you know them songs, but what's her name? Sexy Red, uh, Hardy, Hardy B. B. Big they make a lot of songs about taking somebody man, do they not? The men, they make songs about taking somebody woman. That's adultery. If we are doing those things, we won't get into heaven. Read on. Thou shalt not steal. Stealing. What they do when George Floyd got killed? They you know what they did? You ain't see the news? Yeah, they they was looting everywhere. You saw what they did to that, that store on the west side. It's a store on Lake and Cicero. They all ran in that store and stole as much liquor as they could take. When they was riding and looting, I actually was able to look out my window where I used to live and saw everybody going in the furniture store taking beds, couches. I saw old men and old women still. Guess what? We ain't supposed to do that. Right. If we don't do those things, we'll get into heaven. Read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. What's that? Bear false witness. That's lying. Do not people lie on people. Spread rumors. Say they heard things they ain't hear. That's lying. If you're doing that, you're not getting into heaven. Read. Honor thy father and thy mother. Do we respect our parents? You said we do as a people? Right. You. It's videos on YouTube of little black and Hispanic kids punching their mamas, punching their daddies, honoring your father and mother, not one day out the year. You supposed to do that every day. Not once a year, every day. Read. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Do we love each other in our neighborhood? No. We will kill each other in a hot second. Right. You born and raised here? You know how it is when you ride the CTA bus. A fight can happen at any point. Y'all get on the bus, boom, that's a fight. God said we not supposed to do those things. Guess what? If you don't do these things, if you keep the words that God said, you will get into heaven. Why are the commandments important? The commandments stop what? They stop teen pregnancy. Give me Leviticus 19, 29. Bring it so out. How old are you? 15. Okay, this is important that you stop and you listening to this. Because they don't teach this stuff. You ever heard of the new law that they taking slavery out of the school? The teaching of slavery, black history out of the school? That's bad. They're trying to erase all of this that happened. They trying to erase it from history. You even got some people saying that this was a choice. Look at this thing. This thing, $1,200. $1,250 That was a choice. That's what they telling kids now. I got a little sister. So these are things that they starting to remove out of school. Look at this. They got a whole family on the auction block in the cellar. That really happened. We got to know our history so we know how we got to behave ourselves so we can get into heaven. 
Wait. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. What's some ways a parent will prostitute their daughter? Um, having them around, you know, unknown men. Okay, that's one way. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. Give me another example. What about prom? What happens on prom? You don't know what happened on prom. You for real? She ain't made it there. 15. Right, you 15, so you don't know. Prom, don't go to that. On prom, that's where a lot of teenagers have sex for the first time. Right. All that, put the dress on, the matching suit, the limousine with the tents. They might rent an Escalade, all that, that's for sure. That's prostituting a daughter. So when prom come up and all your friends talking about that, don't go to that. Cause whoever your prom date is, that's gonna be on his mind. Cause all the little boys, they like, oh man, who you going to prom with? You think she gonna go? You think she gonna let you smash? That's how the little boys talk. I know, I was in high school. I know what the little boys think. Right. Like I said, I got younger sisters. These are things I tried to warn them about. So right now we warning you of these things. That's the way that you prostitute your daughter. You know how else? Letting them wear skimpy clothes. Right. I'm gonna ask you this. I know you young, but you look like you got some sense. If a young lady come out half naked, how are men going to treat her? Young lady of your age, you got a lot of sense. You got a head on your shoulders. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. And you gotta move like that out here. Cause something else that's happening to young ladies, young ladies are being abducted. They being snatched. A lot of young girls is coming up missing. Getting caught up in sex trafficking, getting taken and never seen again. So you can't be out here dressing like that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And the way that you standing here listening, that show you got some sense, cause usually, when we talk to sisters, young ladies, they get offended and they want to attack it. Call us all out our name and we just looking out for you. I got daughters too. I'm already telling mine, don't dress like that because you won't get the wrong attention. When you get of age, when you become a woman, you want a man to get to know you and not just want to sleep with you and have sex with you and toss you to the side. You want a man to take you and make you a wife. Right. First. You understand what I'm saying? Read that again. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. So what if you let your daughter be loose, as they say? What will happen if she be loose? That'd be a shame on that family. Right. Think about how some parents feel. Somebody be like, oh, that's your daughter. Right. You know when people make that face about somebody? Yeah. That's embarrassing to know that your daughter is the thought of the neighborhood, the bust down of the neighborhood. That's embarrassing. Not only that, that girl will become pregnant. She'll get STDs. You know it's certain STDs that you catch there is no cure for it. Right. Once you catch that STD, you will be stuck with that for the rest of your life. You know. Sex is for marriage. That's the right. The first time you pose to have sex is when you get married. That's right. Guess what? That'll stop STDs in our neighborhood. That'll stop teen pregnancy. You know why? Because your first and only partner will be your spouse. That's, that's right. right. Case closed, that's the solution. That's right. But we want to follow the ways of the world. And I'm mentioning my younger sisters because these are the same things that I've tried to say to them at some point. Some listen, some don't. And then they end up being what you see on TV. Think about it, teen mom. Is that supposed to be? No, we don't. Let's what? Let's, let's the land fall to hoard them. Let's the land fall to hoard them. Our communities have failed to hoard them. Hoard them is just sex, 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 sex. Right. Outside of marriage. 
when you in grammar school, elementary school, eighth grade, they talking about sex, trying to have sex, trying to lose their virginity. They get to high school, sex, 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 sex. Now, it's becoming a thing where they'll make fun of you if you ain't out here having sex at a young age. Especially if you a young man. If you a young man and you ain't having no sex, they gonna clown you. You a virgin. Am I lying, bro? No. They gonna clown you. If you a girl, they gonna say, are oh, you a lame? You supposed to be turnt. No, turnt gonna get you burnt. Yo, right, bring oh, it up. Give me Deuteronomy 23, 17. You are an Israelite. Flip that sign over, that, that flyer that you got. Right here. This, these, these names right here is the 12 tribes of Israel. Those are God's chosen people. I'm going to show you what he say about his daughter. How he don't want his daughter to behave. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17. There shall, no, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. You are a daughter of Israel. What did God say? There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. Our daughters, our young ladies is not supposed to be out here trying to be a high girl. Trying to be a whore. I know that's what they pushing out here. They trying to make that cool. That's why I named some of them artists so you understand what I'm saying. Don't try to be Sexy Red. I'm gonna ask you this. Did you hear what Sexy Red recently said in one of her interviews? Good, but I gotta break it up so you don't follow that. She said she's the raw dog queen. Should a woman talk like that? Do you understand what that means? That means she the queen of having sex unprotected sex and you got little girls that follow her that look up to her that might want to dress like her be like her so what they gonna do they gonna follow her did you hear the video with Sufiana she was in another country and she walked out the door and she yeah. said what yeah. well, you talking about when she was in London yeah yeah I know, yeah. right, you ain't even want to say it. Should a woman right. talk like that? I tell my daughters, I'll point them out in a minute. You see that across the street? You don't dress like that. You don't talk like that. That video come up, I, hey, that's a harlot. I already tell them. So I'm telling you, you see that? Those are whores. Don't be like them. That's disgusting. That's shame. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.